Hi everybody and welcome to a new tutorial on how to make a t-shirt in Second Life. Now I've watched an awful lot of how to do it and a lot of them make it very complicated and we're going to make it very simple or at least we're going to try and make it very simple. This is a... <laughs> Gaz has just popped up on my screen. I'm going to have to turn off my steam just one moment. He doesn't know he's just become famous. So what we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to show you today how to make uh, a t-shirt. So basically um, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be downloading a picture of your choice. Now we've downloaded a picture um, of um, a tartan pattern. Now all pictures and these upper body templates yeah you can see that there by Robin Wood okay so go google it go get his ones okay these are the ones that I, I use personally I use and you're gonna make sure that your layer is 1024 by 1024 if you don't know how to do that just open a window drag a picture into it will actually show you file new okay and you'll get this template size and you'll just say OK alright now we're going to show you how to make your picture fit that so we've got our tartan picture over here uh, OK and we're going to drag and drop it and you see it don't fill it, does, it doesn't fill that so you're going to get your resize tool which is this and drag it up to the edge as much as you possibly can and then you're going to make that 1024. Okay, you're going to make that 1024. 24. Okay, and then you're going to go scale. Okay, and then you're going to go file, save as, then you're going to save it. Okay, once you've saved it, okay, you can close that window, discard changes. Right, once you've done that, you've got your new tartan picture or whatever picture you're using at 1024. You're going to drag and just drop it on there, on the top. It's an instant new layer. Okay, it doesn't matter what uh, view it is. So, what we're going to do as well is we're going to go to our pictures, which is offline, and we've got some uh, I've got some YouTube logos here so I've got a YouTube logo okay so this is uh, my logo now that is too big for me so I'm going to click on that and I'm going to go to the resize tool I will say right okay I want the resize tool but I want this to fit in that bottom square okay that square there doesn't have to be a perfect fit scale it okay so when I turn it on and off right okay a little bit too big still so we're gonna say 125 and we're gonna do 125 I'm gonna go scale and then we're gonna go and click on the move okay all right and then we're going to go uh, edit. Uh, sorry, uh, no, no, I'm not going to do anything. So it fits in that corner. So we're then going to click on that. So you can see that you got the tartan. You got the logo. Now, the logo at this point in time doesn't matter where it's on the screen. So just turn it off. Now. We're going to want to take this tartan one and we're going to make it so it's smaller, it's more invisible. Okay, there you go, just like that, around about 50%. Depending on, on the picture, is, is what you're going to do. So, you're going to get your eraser tool now and you're going to get the brush. So, you can click on any size brush that you want, but I recommend this one okay and the size I recommend that you just start off at a, a, a biggest size 
there we go that will do click it off and what you got to do is remember this is a t-shirt ladies and gentlemen okay so we're going to do it to uh, a set level so we're going to go just above there you'll see a red line there right you just want to make sure it's there okay and on this side you want to make see that I'll make sure it's just below there just like so okay all right now what I'm gonna want to do now and you can see that I haven't touched any of this okay I'm gonna want that bit gone okay so that's all I've done you know, just make sure that it's off the hand make sure it's all nice and clean there you're going to want to double click on that and want to zoom in and you want to zoom in on this bit here now this is the part where you decide where you want to go okay now there's three lines here I'm just going to zoom out one now this red line is that red line that purple line is that purple line that black line is that black line so depending where you want to go on your t-shirt on your arm length is where you're going to wipe out the brush okay we're going to go to this black line okay so we're going to get our brush so we're going to click off the zoom we're going to go to our brush okay and we say right there 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 and there make sure you don't go over there that will do your top t-shirt okay so we're just going to do a few clicks here and then what we're going to do is we're going to um, what was it? double click on the eraser and we're going to shrink the size okay around about a little bit smaller than that whoops not that small yeah okay so that's there so what we're going to do now is we're just going to go onto that black line very carefully as close as you possibly can okay anything that really sticks out just give it a quick nudge like that okay all right and you can clean that little bit there and then what you're going to do is on this side is you're going to do it the same if you get unsteady take your hand off and then just do, do a bit more take your hand off do a bit more okay and you're just going to go click okay And click, and click that one right and then what you're going to do is you're going to turn that off you're going to double click that on your uh, zoom zoom out sorry zoom out not zoom in okay and then you're going to zoom in okay and that's it that's all you need to do you don't need to go and get rid of all of these because what second life does it does it itself okay it does it because you're only putting a template onto a picture if you want to say make uh, uh, something a line to go over here and go around the back of the waist so this is a female's body so say you was making a bra you would g use the contours here okay or if you wanted to do a cleavage you would cut the cleavage out and we'll probably show you that later on but we just want to show you a basic simple t-shirt so what you're going to do now is you're going to turn off that SL okay no sorry you're going to leave it on you're going to want your logo your logo is down here so now this is where you're going to decide where you're going to click on your logo you're going to move the move tool you're going to get that and you're going to shove that there and then you can say is that too big right 
and you say well yes it is so you're going to go to your resize tool go on there and you're going to say right I want that to be resized at 50 because I don't really want them seeing it, it's like a label ok so you're going to scale right now you're going to click your move tool make sure you're on your logo see I wasn't on the logo on the logo so I'm going to put it in the corner there now you can turn that off ok now you can click on your tartan and you can make sure that the opacity is at 100% you might say well that's really not in the right place but it technically is ok so we're going to do file first of all we're not going to do file what we're going to do is we're going to um, make sure that we've got the logo turned off and the avatar turned off you're going to click on this make sure you clicked on that and you're going to go layer transparency, transparency add alpha layer ok then you're going to go to this tool here and you're going to click inside that white tool and you're going to press delete ok that's what you're going to do there because you need it so it doesn't show there and then you're going to go go and put your logo back on and you can make sure that this is still off and you're going to go file export as uh, where is it unisex tartan you can see that I actually did the whole lot out there but you don't need to export replace export and that ladies and gentlemen is how you make your template for your t-shirt if you want to go around all the edges of the t-shirt and everything that do so it, it's totally up to you how you do it this is how I do it I don't need to need to um, do it all, all like that it, it's, it's done for me so in part two we'll show you how to upload it into uh, SL and we'll show you how to make it into a um, t-shirt and we're going to put it onto um, Kara my female character and onto Hells my male character and we'll do them as two indi individual um, videos if you like this and want any, any more tutorials do leave a like do leave a comment and we'll try and try our best and see what we can do have fun stay safe bye for now